welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we are going to go over some quick tips on how to change out your change agent retractor graphic. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the key from the side of the retractor base and just set it to the side. The key can usually be found on the side or on the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is wind up my current graphic. So I'm just going to wind it around the top rail. By winding it, it'll prevent it from creasing. Once you've reached the bottom, you're going to gently pull up and out, and the leader should pop up over the display. So once you have the leader on top of the display, you're going to insert the key into the side of the base. And then I'm going to remove the graphic from the leader. Now that I've detached my graphic, the next thing I'm going to do is reverse roll it so that I can take the top rail off. Replacement graphics don't come with top rails, so you're going to have to use your current top rail. So when rolling your graphic, I like to roll it with the graphic facing in, and then using a cardboard tube or a PVC pipe, I'm just going to roll it onto it. This prevents the graphic from getting creased. Now that I have my graphic rolled, the next thing I'm going to do is remove the end caps of the top rail. So they should easily just slide right off. I'm just going to set the ends off to the side and then open my snap rail. Once I've opened my snap rail, I'm just going to remove the graphic. And I'm just going to set my graphic off to the side. To install your new graphic, you're going to install the top edge into the snap rail. So I'm just going to slide the snap rail on. Once I have it completely slid on, I'm just going to snap it shut and replace the end caps. Now that I have my top rail secure, I'm just going to lay out my graphic and using the hook and loop strip on the bottom of my graphic, I'm going to connect it to the leader on the retractor base. Once you have your graphic attached, you're going to remove the pin from the side of the retractor base. And as you remove the pin, you want to make sure you hold down on your graphic so it doesn't go shooting into the base. Now that I've removed the pin, I'm just going to set it off to the side and I'm going to allow my graphic to gently retract into the base. Now you want to keep your hand on the graphics, so gently allow your graphic to retract in. Once the graphic has retracted back into the base, the last thing I'm going to do is tape my key to the side of my retractor base. It is just that easy to change out your change agent retractor graphic. I'll see you next time for another Quick Tip Tuesday.